Hey everybody, it's Caitlin. Welcome back to another cozy journaling video. I'm thinking today's video is going to be a journal chat because originally I had planned to make this week's video a review of my 2023 planners, reflect on the year, reflect on my analog system, and kind of take you guys through the mental exercise that I was planning to do to kind of close off the old system and get ready and get the intention set for the new system. But I was thinking about it last night and I realized I need a little more time just to figure out how I want to do my review this year. So I think I'm going to push that video to next week. And instead, this week, I thought I would talk to you a bit about a couple things. First, I want to talk about December daily prep because today is December 1st and I've decided to do December daily. Was it influenced by Job's video? Yes, probably, but I'm still kind of excited about it. I'm gonna share with you what I'll be doing exactly for it, and it's pretty simple, but I thought I would still mention it here anyway, in case you're curious. And the second thing I wanted to tell you about is how I am prepping and planning for an upcoming trip and how I'm planning to travel journal for that trip. So I have some things on the right here that I bought for my trip that I thought I would show you as well. And yeah, just grab a cup of tea, maybe grab your journal if you're like journaling while you watch me. That's what I normally do when I watch videos and let's just sit down and have a cozy little journal chat. Okay, there we go. I just brightened it up because it's kind of dark outside. It's snowing for the first time on December 1st and that kind of changes the lighting situation. So apologies, but let's just get straight into it. So December daily. Yes, I saw Job's video on how to do December daily. Yes, it made me very excited and essentially influenced me into trying it out this year. The reason why I kind of thought I would do it this year is I've been using a daily journal since October, maybe mid-October of this year. And I've been finding it's been going pretty well. If I, I open up my journal, which is a uh, passport traveler's notebook in, in camel. Maybe I'll move this guy up here for you. And, oh, it's not even in its elastic. <laughs> Sometimes I do that when I've taken out my journal. So yes, I started this journal on October 21st of this year and I've been going strong. I have been pretty good about, if I flip to November, I've been pretty good about journaling almost every single day. The purpose of this journal and why I have it in a traveler's notebook is I wanted to have a day per page, but I also didn't wanna have the days already written out so that I could write on the days I felt like it. And I've done most days in here, which has been really cool, which you can kind of see here. Have some sticky notes. But the one thing that I've noticed with this journal as I've used it is, oh, and I'm more than halfway through, which was something I was really proud of myself for when I got halfway through this insert. But anyway, um, something I've noticed with how I journal in this book is I will often do a couple days at a time. Um, so I won't journal every single day in this. And sometimes that's okay because, you know, part of, part of life is you don't always have time or you don't always think of sitting down to journal every single day, at least sometimes I forget. Um, but with this guy, I think it would be really great to start to create more of a habit around sitting down and using this journal every day so that I can make sure the memories that I want to record make it into this book. I have a really bad memory, so sometimes a couple days later I forget those little moments that at the time I maybe had anticipated putting in this journal. So I thought December Daily would be a really great opportunity to just get back into the routine of sitting down and writing in my journal every day. So that is what I'm planning on doing. I think the traditional December daily format, and I'll bring this notebook back, <laughs> is uh, to, you know, write 
uh, in a new notebook, like set up a new insert for December and it's like one book for December. I have a little under half of the pages in my insert, which is just the Traveler's Company grid insert. So I'm not going to start a new insert just because I want to kind of keep the rest of my year in one book. But I do plan to do the daily part of the December daily challenge, which is trying to write about my day every single day. Or maybe I'll do like I write about the first on the second because then the first has already happened, something like that. So for the challenge, I'm not going to change the way that I'm journaling at all. I'm still going to kind of do the very simple daily entries that I've been doing since October. So I really don't want to change anything. I just want to focus on getting the habit of daily journaling back into my daily routine. So that is my December daily. Not very, uh, not very crazy, but I think it'll be good to just get back into daily journaling and re-solidify that habit. Now, so that was the first thing I wanted to tell you about, December Daily. The second thing I wanted to tell you about is I have a trip coming up over the holidays. It's the first time in a long time I've gone on a trip and I'm very excited, but naturally I <laughs> also sat down and wanted to think about how I would journal over said trip. and. Over the past month, I've been thinking about it. I picked up a couple supplies for my trip specifically. So I thought I would show you those and talk about my plan for travel journaling for the end of this year. So this is where this guy comes in as well as this guy. These are my traveler's notebooks. Both are in camel. The right one is passport. The left one is standard and the passport, as I mentioned, I use as a daily journal and the left one is, it's also a journal. I've called it my commonplace book, but essentially it's kind of like, how do I explain this? It's a place where I will do like overflow journaling. So, ah, oh, my paper clip. <laughs> Sorry, I lost this and I was looking for it. Fabulous. <laughs> um, so essentially in here, I just kind of will do, I guess, overflow journaling. Like if I have additional ephemera I wanna stick in here that might not fit in my daily journal, I'll put it in here. Quotes that I find inspiring. Uh, this is a good example. So this is a map, here we go, of a gallery that I went to. I went to the McMichael Art Gallery, which is a little, a little bit out of Toronto if you live in Canada. And uh, I'd gone to the gallery and I journaled about it in my daily journal, but I wanted to paste in like a map and I wanted to actually write down a excerpt from the information that was like on the display and the exhibit, which was all about um, the group of seven, which is a group of painters that are very well known in Canada. And the excerpt talked about how the painters painted outdoors because a lot of their paintings are actually done outside and they're like directly looking at the thing they are painting and there's this really cool uh piece of writing about this like box setup that they have that they bring with them to paint and it was really really interesting so i'd taken a photo of the excerpt and i wanted to write it down so that was something i wrote down here and i pasted in the map um i wrote down like Let's see, some stuff I bought for Black Friday, a crate menu, my Apple Music replay of this year. So where this kind of has a day per page and I like to have that kind of little summary of the day, this is where I will add like, I guess those additional details or overflow items that I still wanna capture and journal about, but maybe don't wanna include in my daily entry or wanna add in addition to my daily entry so that I can still go back and look at these. So that is what this notebook is. I don't know if that makes like total sense, but in my mind it works very well. So I've been sticking with it and it's been nice because I've felt like I have all of the things I want to capture in terms of my archive and my memories in one place. Uh, and by one place I mean two notebooks, but <laughs> you know what I mean. So. 
these are the two journals that I use and I'm gonna be using these when I travel at the end of the year. So I have a grid notebook by Traveler's Company in both of these. So one thing I picked up as travel preparation is another grid notebook for my regular size TN, which looks like this, and then a grid notebook for my passport size TN, which looks like this. The inside of these are the exact same. They have the exact same paper, but for some reason, the passport cover and the grid cover are different uh, materials. One is green, one is brown. I have no idea why. Maybe if someone knows the lore, they can mention it below, but yeah. I bought two new inserts because I will be away during New Year's, so I will be starting 2024 while traveling. So because of that, I wanted to pick up two new inserts for these notebooks to replace the current ones. And that is because these notebooks that I have right now in here are for the year of 2023. So for 2024, I wanna switch them out and have fresh new notebooks. So this is something I would probably buy uh, anyway, even if I wasn't traveling, but I will be bringing these with me traveling. So I wanted to mention them as part of this kind of travel prep segment of the video. The second thing that I bought for my trip is this guy right here. I took it out of its packaging already, but this is the spiral ring notebook in B6, and this is the photo file. So Traveler's Notebook makes a bunch of these uh, spiral notebooks in different sizes, and for each size, they have a couple different styles of pages on the inside that you can choose from. So this one that I bought here is the photo file. So if I move my notebooks over for you and I open it up here, uh, it has this kind of leaflet just like the other uh, Traveler's Company notebooks. And then this guy is the photo file. And maybe I'll move that a little more as well. <laughs> so what that means is that each of the pages in this notebook is a craft piece of paper with a kind of thin page protector glued to it like this. And you can slip in your four by six photos. So I already have some photos in here that I've taken during the year, which you might have seen. But I did pick this up for these photos and then after I have these photos in here, I'm planning on adding photos from my trip in here as well. I already know that I'm gonna be taking a lot of photos while I'm traveling is kind of something I like to do and I won't be able to fit them all in my journal. So having a photo album where I can kind of have all of the photos that I wanna print in one place I thought would be a good idea. And I'm gonna be printing my photos with the same printer that I used for these, which is my Canon Selfie CP1500, which uh, does a pretty good job. Does a pretty good job of the photos. You can see here, the quality is pretty good. So that is the plan with this photo album. I also got a second photo album I won't be uh, bringing this on the trip. I think I'll just have this at home and then put the photos in when I return and print them out. But this one here is a book that I'm planning to bring with me traveling. So this is also a spiral ring notebook. I bought both of these from Jet Pens because I couldn't find any of the stationery stores in Toronto that carried them. Uh, and this is the spiral ring notebook in B6 size. And this one has the window envelope in it. So I'll just take it out of its packaging so you can see what the actual inside is. So I thought this would be really great for traveling because the inside of this book is essentially made up of multiple envelopes that look like this. It has like a clear cutout on the front and then there's this fold here and you can slip in, for example, like this, uh, different postcards you might fi find. And then there it is. That's actually really cute. Um, so you can slip in like different postcards, ephemera and tickets. 
and I thought this would be a really good uh, notebook to pick up to use for collecting the different tickets ephemera and other things I come across on my trip. The reason why I picked this specific notebook is because I really liked how there's multiple envelopes in one book. So what I was thinking of doing with this is actually using one envelope per day or maybe one envelope per like major area that I visit on my trip. And then I can kind of organize my ephemera a little bit better so it's easier to sort through when I go home. Um, and also I liked how the envelope was like fully kind of sealed so I wouldn't be like losing things, things wouldn't fall out, it would be pretty, pretty secure in my bag, uh, which I thought would be helpful as well. So that is something that I'm going to be bringing along with me and I thought this would be very helpful for just collecting all the ephemera. <laughs> so that is the spiral ring notebook. And then the last thing that I picked up to bring on my trip is this traveler's notebook accordion fold paper insert in passport size. So as you can see on the back here, this has this like fold out accordion paper that looks like this. And I'll go ahead and open it up and then I'll explain how I'm going to use it. Okay, so the insert looks like this. It's actually fairly thin if you compare it to, let's say like a standard 64 page insert. It's probably about a half to maybe a quarter of the thickness. So it's very thin, very small. And when you open it, it has like this white cover. And then when you open it, it has this piece of paper that feels kind of like their watercolor paper. So it's really thick, almost like cardstock. And it's a large accordion that folds out like this. So there's, ooh, let me show you, there you go. I can't even fit it on camera, but it has a bunch of these little folding panels that come all the way together and connect at the back of the book like this. And I picked this up because I thought it would be really cool to use this as a uh, kind of dedicated travel moments journal for my trip. So even though I'm going to be daily journaling, I still added this because I thought it would be cool to paste one photo, like one special photo per day in this insert and just have maybe a like little caption or something so that when I look back on my trip, every day that I was away, there's kind of one photo to represent the highlight or what I did that day. I'm still gonna be putting photos in my daily journal, but part of why I thought this would be cool is I want to avoid putting a photo in every single day in my daily journal, because I think it's just gonna make things really chunky. And I also thought it would be cool to have kind of like one dedicated, travel journal for the trip in addition to my other journals and picking a photo per day is pretty low maintenance so I think this is something that I could easily do with my other journals and not get overwhelmed and I could actually do this when I come back from the trip so it wouldn't add a lot of extra effort while I'm traveling. So yeah we have the accordion fold paper insert here. So yeah, that is an overview of the stuff I picked up for my trip. So we have the regular grid, the passport grid, and then the accordion insert, as well as the two spiral ring and notebooks, the window, and then the photo file. So this is what I picked up for my trip. And then I will be bringing my two notebooks, which are my regular and my passport traveler's notebook on the trip with me as well. So yeah, that is my plan for traveling. I think it'll be good, but let me know if you've done anything different when you've traveled, what has worked for you, what has not worked for you. I'm 
trying this system because I think it will be the least overwhelming because I often find when I travel, it's hard to find longer periods of time to journal. Usually I have like a couple minutes here and there, but not like a dedicated amount of time to sit down and journal, especially because I'll be traveling with family. So my schedule won't be fully, fully up to myself uh, to dictate, but that's what I'm planning on doing. Let me know what you've done in the past and let me know if you are planning to do December daily this year. I'm kind of excited. I think it'll be fun. Uh, and I would love to know who else is doing it so we can like, you know, be like a little journaling team and support each other and all that good stuff. But yeah, that's kind of all I wanted to talk to you about today. I hope you enjoyed this really chill journal chat video. Thank you so much for watching and being here. And I really do hope you enjoyed and you had a nice relaxing time. And besides that, I will see you all in the next video. Bye, everybody.